Okay, kindergarten. Our sight word of the week is C. Say the word, say C. And this week we'll be writing using this word. So you will need your crayons, a pencil, and your writer's notebook. This week we are going to start talking about pumpkins. So your first page this week We'll start with a pumpkin. Last week we talked about craftsmanship and we talked about being careful in the way we do our writing and being proud of our writing. This week I want to continue looking at craftsmanship and so all of your writing and all of your illustrations need to demonstrate craftsmanship. They need to show that you are proud of your work. Go ahead and turn to a new page in your writer's notebook and like always, we are going to draw a line to save some space for our writing later. Our illustration will go up here. Now, because we're starting pumpkins this week, we are going to be writing, I see the pumpkin. So our picture needs to match our words. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and draw a pumpkin. A pumpkin is kind of an oval shape, Sometimes it's more of a circle shape, but it also has a dent on the top. So to make a pumpkin, start near the top, but leave some space because you'll need some space for the stem and the vines, and draw a letter C shape. Then on the other side, draw a backwards letter C. That's sort of what our pumpkin looks like. This week, we're going to make a realistic looking pumpkin. We're going to use nonfiction to make a pumpkin that looks real. Next week, we can put a silly face on it and make it into a jack-o'-lantern or add some other fantasy elements or fiction elements. But this week, we're focusing on real life looking pumpkins. So start with your letter C shape, then add your backwards C shape. Next, we need to add a little stem. So the easiest way, I think, to add a little stem is to first add two lines that come close together, and then we can add a stem. Sorry, I got cut off there. So we're gonna add a little line on the left and a little line on the right, and then slant up to make a stem. A stem is almost like a bent rectangle. Then we're gonna add some small lines that make our pumpkin look a little bit more three-dimensional, a little bit more real. So we don't need too many. These lines are lighter, so I'm not gonna push as hard with my pencil. And maybe they don't continue all the way. So you can make them sort of stop in the middle. You can make them go all the way down if that makes more sense for you. But you notice they're a little bit lighter. I'm gonna add a little bit more detail to my stem to make it look more real too. Maybe something like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and color it. You can color your pumpkin however you like. Do that today. I will meet you back tomorrow. You will see my colored pumpkin show craftsmanship as you color. And tomorrow we're going to add some labels. 